Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bit Glenn. My name's Glenn, and I like to share with you what I learn in the world of cryptocurrency as I go through it. So if you've been watching my videos lately, you'll know that sort of on the Sunday nights, we've been doing some live streams where I've actually been using a platform called Prime XBT, and I've been using their turbo feature, or gambling as I like to call it. And what I've been doing is I've been betting on whether the price of Bitcoin will go up or down within the next 10 to 15 minutes. And that is it. It's so simple that it's beautiful. One of the negative things though, and I mentioned it when I very, very first started doing it, was that when you make a bet or a trade, you're actually willing to lose 100% of your total principal. So if you put in one whole Bitcoin and you bet that the price is going to go up and it doesn't, you actually lose one whole Bitcoin. But if you win on the other hand, you would then think that you would end up with two Bitcoin, but you don't. You end up with 1.65 of a Bitcoin. So you lose 35% really. And that's the cut that Prime XBT make. And it's the same with any casino. There's always a percentage that's in the casino's favor because they have to be profitable. Otherwise there's no point them offering that feature. So I completely get it. And I knew that risk when I took it on and I, it was one of the first things I mentioned when doing those videos. But now going from that, people have messaged me and said, Glenn, why don't you just do some actual trades? Their commission or their trading fees are like 0.05. Why pay 35% for a trade? And the simple answer was, I don't know how to. I don't know how to leverage trade. I don't know how to put in a profitable trade and how do I know if it's profitable or not? Like I've never done it before. I've never attempted it and I've never attempted to learn. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating a video series. I'm gonna be doing sort of one video or two videos a week, sort of maximum really for the next few weeks, actually discussing what I learned in the world of leverage trading. I wanna take it one step at a time. I, I really wanna sit down and learn each feature as I go along and actually understand the mechanics behind it and what that means for me in the long term. So things like stop losses, taking profit, managing risk. And once I've got my head around those, then hopefully this will lead to me doing a video where I actually put in some trades that are actually profitable. And hopefully I can share that with you guys. That's my end goal. Now for you guys, one, hopefully that's entertaining, but second, hopefully you'll learn something from it. You may think, actually, that's not for me. Or if you're thinking, actually, I want to get into leverage trading, but I just don't know how, hopefully I can give you some insight for a noob, a beginner getting into this space and actually giving it a go and seeing what happens at the end of it. And I'll be creating a new playlist that you guys can follow along with, which I'm going to call something like BitGlens Learning to Trade or BLT. <laughs> which is actually a famous sandwich. And if you're from the UK, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about for everyone else in the world. Private joke. <laughs> Why do I relate everything to food? Hmm. So if you want to see that, let's get right into the video and talk about the platform that I'm going to be using. Let's go. Okay, so as always, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been smashing the like button for me and everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. I think we're almost at 2,200, so that means my channel has gained 200 subscribers in the space of like a week or so. So thank you very much for everyone that's been coming to the platform. But I don't want you to stop there. Keep smashing that like button for me. It shows that actually you're a very interactive audience versus me just paying you can go on these platforms and pay for like a thousand subscribers in 10 minutes or whatever so i hope you guys are interacting and taking note of what i'm saying otherwise i'm just talking to myself in a shed <laughs> and if you are new to this channel please click that subscribe button if you want to be notified when i do do one of these sort of trading learning trading videos click the little bell notification and you'll get a little notification or a prompt every time that i upload a video or if I go live for a live stream. If you want to have a bit of banter and talk about crypto, you can join the Team BitGlen Telegram group chat. That's such a mouthful. <laughs> uh, just search for the name Team BitGlen. Or if you want to contact me on a more personal level, you can contact me via Twitter with the handle name at BitGlen. So that's enough of me talking about my platform. 
let's have a look at the platform that I'll be using today. So the platform that I'm gonna be using is Prime XBT. I've been doing a bit of research on different leverage trading platforms. I wasn't just gonna use these ones because I've already got an account with them. I actually have accounts with other platforms already. But what I like about this one is that there's no KYC process. So you can just go on, type in your email address and a password and you're in. You send the platform Bitcoin and you can start making trades. It's that simple. I This is the most simplest cryptocurrency platform I've ever had to sign up for, which means I don't have to worry about the usual things that happen with these sort of platforms and that's when they get hacked. And usually they leak everyone's data. So that means some hacker out there has got your name, address, date of birth, email, phone number, maybe a picture of your passport, picture of your driving license, and you have to think, oh God, I hope they don't use that against me one day. Whereas these guys, there is none of that. So I don't have to worry about them getting hacked in that regard. Obviously they could still get hacked where someone tries to steal your Bitcoin, but they have put some measures in there and I'm gonna show you that live in a second on how they actually try to combat that going forward. But one of the things that a lot of people will question is Prime XBT a scam? You hear a lot of horror stories about leverage trading platforms where they bet against you and they can manipulate the price to go up or down. You have to look at where does that platform get their data from and do they have much downtime? To give you an example, let's say you go over to leverage trading platforms and they actually have the data stored themselves. So they're not using TradingView or CoinMarketCap or Binance or whatever it may be. They're actually just using their own data. Well, that means, yeah, they could easily manipulate the price going up or down. Now, if you've put in a long or short, which means that you're betting the price will go up or down, they can actually use that against you. If they see like 90% of their clients are all betting the price is gonna go up, they can make the price go down. <laughs> so that means everyone gets liquidated. Liquidation means that you lose all your money that you put into that trade. If you're not careful, actually can withdraw all the money that's within your balance depending on how far it goes. So you have to be really careful. And also make sure you do your own research. Remember that Bitcoin is one of the hardest forms of money, which means it's either very hard to get or it's very expensive to get. So you don't wanna be sending your hard earned money to any old platform. And some of the ones out there that I've looked into, the CEO's run off hiding or is <laughs> has moved to like some tax haven place. So that's made me actively try to avoid their platforms. Prime XBT are registered in Switzerland and they have offices in the Seychelles. But what I like about them is that they have very little downtime. So one of the other things is when there's a big fluctuation in price movements in Bitcoin especially, Let's say Bitcoin pumps or dumps $500 within the space of an hour. Some exchanges like Coinbase actually set a foul safe to prevent something being manipulated or moved about where they're all of a sudden gonna lose a load of money. So if the price moves too quickly, they will actually just go down. And usually that platform will post on their Twitter or Telegram, oh, we're down for maintenance, but it'll always be conveniently at the time where the price really pumps or dumps. But as a trader, if you're trying to minimize your risk, what you could do is just sit back and wait for Bitcoin to have one of these big movements. Now, that might take weeks, might take months, but you can sit back and just wait for that moment to happen and then make your trade. If you know that it's pumping all of a sudden, you can put in that, leverage trade that is gonna go up and you can make big gains. If you know it's gonna dump, you can do the same. But imagine if finally you've waited weeks and weeks for that moment to come and all of a sudden, the exchange that you've chose to use has gone down. You're not gonna have enough time to go over to another platform, create an account, sign up, register, verify your email, then send them over your KYC form, then them accept you <laughs> within the time that that Bitcoin is gonna dump or pump at that particular time. So your moment to shine may be taken away from you from the exchanges. Prime XBT so far, although it is a fairly newish exchange, has recorded 99.9% .9 uptime. So they're very, very rarely down for any reason, which is thumbs up. So no KYC, 
no downtime, and they actually get their data, their price data from several different places. So they're not just using one platform that they can manipulate, they're actually using two or three. So you can feel confident that the prices that you're seeing are actually what is happening in the real world. So one of the first things you should be doing is doing a bit of research. Is Prime XBT a scam? Do they have any complaints? Are there any lawsuits going on at the moment? I've done a bit of research, so you can see here I've typed in, is Prime XBT a scam? And there are a couple of links on here, and I've actually gone through, you can see I've already done a bit of research already before this video, but it seems like because this is a popular search term at the moment, because it is a new platform, it actually just takes you to scammy websites like this one here. It seems like it's a uh, scammy website. It seems to be asking for my data a lot and I can have a free consultation, which normally leads to scams. And before you leave this platform, again, it asks you for your details again. So I don't know, this one seems a bit shady. So we'll forget that one for now. Then we've got Prime XBT themselves. Then we've got here Coin Bureau. So they've done a review on the exchange themselves. Uh, I've gone through and I've read all of this and they seem quite positive about it. They they talk good things about it and I even learned some things myself. Now, uh, Coin Bureau actually is a, a YouTube channel actually that I watch as well. It seems they have a website and they actually do reviews on that website. But a good one to use is trustpilot.com because that is genuine users. That's you and me going onto this website and giving a review of the platform. They have 85 reviews at the moment and their current rating is 4.4. And I've gone through and I've read the good and the bad. I'm not gonna go through them all now because it'll take ages, but you know, do your own research and have a little review. And obviously there are ones that are really negative and there are ones that are overly positive. And somewhere in the middle there, there's the truth. <laughs> that's, that's my philosophy in life. Overall, it's very positive. People seem to be very happy with this platform. So that gives me a bit of confidence. Now let's go over to the actual platform. So you can see at the top here, there's four tabs, account, trade, turbo, and co-vesting. I'm gonna go through each one of these so that we all know where, we, where we've started from and how we can navigate our way around this website. I've tried to make this as easy as I can. So I've actually got rid of all the gumph that's around the sides and down the bottom so that it's really clear. All I've got is the trading chart in the middle and then we have our main options at the top. So let's go over to account. Now, one of the positives that I read in one of those reviews is obviously it has very little downtime. It offers more than just Bitcoin trading, so you can actually trade some other things. We'll get into that in a second. And one of the big things was security, which I really like. Let me just explain their wallet system that they seem to have going on here. You set up an account, which again, no KYC process. You send over Bitcoin to your wallet address, and that stays in there. You can't do anything with that apart from either withdraw it again, or send it to your trading account. But why have they got two different wallets? Well, when you're actually dealing with trading on a leveraged platform, when you make a buy or a sell, you can actually lose all the money that's available in your balance. Now to prevent you by accidentally, I don't know, let's say you put in one Bitcoin and you make a long or a buy trade and you think the price of Bitcoin's going up. But it doesn't, it goes down and it goes down really hard. When you're using the marginal trading, they give you up to a hundred times leverage, which is crazy really the amount. So if you put in one Bitcoin, it would be the same as if you're trading with a hundred Bitcoin. Now this is fantastic if you get it right, but if you get it wrong, it's the same as you trading with 100 Bitcoin. So if the if the price goes down $500, which Bitcoin does regularly, you've got to think that's $500 times 1,000. So your potential uh, is actually to lose sort of $500,000 worth of Bitcoin. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to write to you and say, Glenn, you only deposited $100 of Bitcoin, you owe us now $499,000. What happens is, is the second that the amount of Bitcoin that you've put into it goes to zero, you are then at that point liquidated. They end the trade, that's it, done, game over. So you've lost all your balance. So the idea behind this wallet system here is that, let's say you've got one whole Bitcoin in there, but you wanna make a trade but you don't want to lose all your Bitcoin, you can just transfer over what you're willing to trade with. So let's just say 0.1 of a Bitcoin. That way, when I make my trade and say I get it horribly wrong and I lose all that Bitcoin, 
I've still got 0.9 Bitcoin in this wallet here and I can send over another 0.1. So that's something that you wanna try and manage. Again, this is a form of managing risk. So they actually have the two wallets and it's the same actually with their turbo feature you have to transfer money into the turbo wallet balance. You can't just trade straight out of this wallet balance here. So that's again to protect you. So I really like that they've done that because if they was a scam, they would just be wanting to take your money as fast as possible. Now with the deposits of Bitcoin, obviously you can just send Bitcoin to the address, that's great. But what's really key with this is that you can actually buy Bitcoin using this platform. They actually use a process or a company called Changely. You can actually buy Bitcoin using US dollars, euros or British pounds, which for me is awesome because really there's only a couple of on-ramp solutions for me, which the main one is Coinbase. And recently we've just had Swiss ball come on, but now I can actually buy Bitcoin using this platform. Now, just a small disclaimer, you do have to provide a KYC when purchasing Bitcoin using a credit or debit card. And I believe this is actually held by Changely. But again, do your own research, but at least you can buy Bitcoin. And that Bitcoin goes straight into your wallet address. It's almost instant. I think you just have to wait for a few confirmations on the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, once you've deposited your Bitcoin, maybe you've made some successful trades and you wanna withdraw the whole lot, you can just, send it to whatever exchange you want, but you do have to bear in mind that there is here, it says here how much you're sending out, where the destination is. There is a transfer fee to withdraw your Bitcoin out of this platform, which is 0 0.0005, which I had a look is where it's about $4.70, which is about three pound 80 in UK money. So you have to bear that in mind. If you're sending this platform like $10, Obviously you have to pay $5 to get it back out. So you have to bear that in mind. And they will send that out. And I've done this process and it's pretty quick. It took about 20 minutes, which is quite standard for the Bitcoin blockchain. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a couple of hours if you're doing it from Coinbase. Now let's just say that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that because you're not providing a KYC process, if they get hacked, you're not gonna lose all your data. But what if they get hacked just to gain your Bitcoin? What these guys have done is they've created a whitelist system. So what you have to do when you sign up to this website and you first create a uh, withdrawal process, you have to add a whitelisted address. So this is my Bitcoin address that I've added onto my whitelist. So you can only withdraw Bitcoin to that address. You can create more than one, you can create create two or three if you want. But what this means is that if a hacker gets on here, really all they can do is withdraw my Bitcoin to that address. And obviously in that time, I can then check, I'll get an email saying, you've requested this withdrawal, was that you or not, please contact us, and you can quickly say, no, that wasn't me. But at least it's not going to their address, that would be a lot harder to get back, but it'd be being sent to your own Bitcoin address. Another thing that they've done is that you can, when you make a withdrawal, it says here, all pending withdrawals are done once a day between 12 and two o'clock. A withdrawal re request before 12 o'clock UTC will be processed that day. Any withdrawal after 12 o'clock will be processed the next day. So you have to bear that in mind. But again, if a hacker hacks your account, they have to transfer the Bitcoin at a certain time. They can only send it to the, your Bitcoin address that you've pre-approved beforehand. And you also have the two-factor authentication to actually say, yes, I confirm that this is me. So they have to have access to your phone, email address, your Bitcoin address that it's going to, and also the Prime XBT account. This just makes it very secure against people hacking and trying to withdraw your Bitcoin. So we haven't got to worry about our personal data, and now we have a little bit more uh, about our actual Bitcoin balance. That being said, I'm not saying that it will never be hacked, I can't guarantee that, but I like I say, there's just another layer of security there. So I really like that they've done that. One of the pros that I've read in a couple of the reviews is their referral program. Now, I actually have been doing that turbo live streams with you guys, and I don't actually earn anything from doing that. I just think it's a good bit of fun and entertainment for you guys. But some of you have actually clicked on the referral link, which is in the description down below, which you're more than welcome to use. It is a referral link, so I may get some sort of commission out of it if you decide to sign up 
and trade with that. But you can see here, so far I've had 12 referrals that have signed up and the total amount of Bitcoin I've earned is 0 0.000. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm not too fussed about that. I never signed up to these guys for their referral program, but apparently their referral program is pretty good in the world of exchanges. I don't know, I've never tried doing one of them. So the way that this works, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of it. So I'm trying to be as honest and transparent as I can be, but maybe you can take advantage of this if you're thinking of getting involved into an exchange because you can actually take part in this tree of referrals. So let's say that this little man with the flag at the top is me, it's BitGlen. You guys are watching my YouTube videos and you use my link in the description to sign up to this platform. You then become my direct referrals, which are these little group of people here. Now, any trades that you make, let's say you trade, I don't know, $100 worth of Bitcoin or £80 worth of Bitcoin, and you end up paying $5 in a trading fee. I'm just making these figures up. I don't actually know what the fees would be. But let's say it's $5 worth of fees that you've paid in total to make that trade. I would get 20% of that. So 20% of $5 is $1. So I would earn $1 from the trade that you've made. But the good thing with these guys, and there are platforms out there that offer sort of 40, 50, 60%, but these guys have done it slightly differently. They offer you 20% on your direct referrals. And then if you out there, then send your referral link to someone else. You then become this little man at the top of the tree. You get 20% from your direct referrals, which you would have your own link for. But then because they've been referred by you that were originally referred by me, they would become my level two referrals. And this actually works on four different levels, and that's as far as it goes. And each step of the way, the percentage that I get is smaller and smaller, but you are gaining obviously this level here. So. This can work out really well. If I recommend say 10 of you, then out of you 10, you recommend another 10 yourselves, and then they recommend another 10. I would have under my tree sort of 50 people, and I'd be earning different level of percentages for each one. I hope that sounds simple enough. So it's a four tier system and you earn different percentages for depending on how far down the tier is. Like I say, I'm not too fussed about earning referral. I'm actually here to learn how to margin trade. So that's my main focus. I don't wanna be focusing on these referrals. And with a lot of YouTubers that do actually talk about trading, and this is quite common actually, I've seen this quite a lot. The easiest thing to do would be to to, for me to go, oh look guys, I'm setting up this trading platform. Oh, I'm making so much money. Oh, I've just done this, I've just done that trade. Oh, and I did 100 times leverage. Yada, 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 yada. And that way people watching it will go, oh, I wanna make loads of money and I wanna be like him. And then they're gonna click your link and they're gonna follow through. And you'll notice that a lot of them don't even mention that it's a referral link and they're gonna receive any commission. So I'm trying to be as honest and transparent as I can be. And I'm trying to be clear at the beginning I don't really care for it. If you want to look for Prime XBT yourselves through Google, go ahead. If you want to click on my link, if you want to be one of my direct referrals, which means that I get 20% of your fees rather than Prime XBT getting all 100% of it, then by all means, I really do appreciate that if you do click that link, but I'm not going to cry about it if I don't get any referrals. So that's entirely up to you. Now there are terms and conditions and I won't go through all of this with you but if you want click the link and have a little read through their terms and conditions. I think essentially you have to be a new member to Prime XBT and you also have to be making trades rather than using just the turbo feature or say just buying Bitcoin and withdrawing it out. You only get commission for trades that you make. And again I think this is why you get so many YouTubers talking about oh ethereum's going to nine thousand dollars next week and all that because they hope that you go on you create a long or short and then then you get liquidated and that youtuber gets a percentage of that feed so i'm not going to be doing that i'm just going to be talking honestly on my experiences on this platform but this is the link here so that's one of the positives that obviously a lot of reviewers are giving this is that it has a pretty good 
fair system for uh, referrals as opposed to some of the platforms out there that offer like 60% commission to the person who referred you. And lastly, in the account section of this platform, if we go over to at the bottom here, you can see where it says promo codes. This is where you can find promos that are going on at the moment with XBT to encourage people to come to the platform and you can type in a code. Now, what I've been doing is I've been chatting with the referral team from Prime XBT and saying, look, I'm gonna be doing some videos about your platform is there anything I can give the guys for joining up through my video now they did actually offer me a higher commission rate if I was to refer so many people and I said no 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 I'm not interested in that is there anything you I can give the guys that would benefit them so if you actually type in the the promo code bitglen and click activate I can't do it because I'm already signed up, but when you're new to signing up to these guys, you actually receive a 35% bonus on your initial Bitcoin deposit, which is awesome. So thank you to Prime XBT for giving me that opportunity to give it to you guys. I know I've only got a small YouTube channel, but if you guys are watching this and thinking, yeah, actually I quite like what Glenn's talking about on Prime XBT, click the referral link, sign up for an account, and then go to the promo section and type in BitGlen when making your first deposit of Bitcoin for a 35% bonus. There are terms and conditions with that, so make sure you read it before you make your decision. But hopefully that's me giving you guys a little something back for watching this content. So that's it for the account section. Let's go over to some of the features of this platform. So let's have a little look. That's everything in the account section. I hope I've covered that nice and clear and easy to follow. I'm gonna skip trade for a second. We've got the turbo feature, which again, I've shown i've actually done a few live streams about this so i recommend that you go and click on one of my live streams i've been as honest as i can be and i've said this is flat out just pure gambling you're just betting whether the price will go up or down within the next 10 to 15 minute window you can only bet four different amounts you can bet either i think it's like ten dollars worth about forty dollars worth a hundred and that's the max. So it's very easy, very simple. There's literally only about six buttons on this whole page that you can actually use. So it's very, very easy to follow and understand. I like that about it, but like I say, there is that 35% downfall. So what that means for you is that if you make a losing bet on this, if you bet the price is gonna go up, but it actually goes down and you lose your money, to break even, you have to win the next two because obviously you're getting 65 percent which gives you 130 percent of two trades which means you've lost 100 percent on one of them so you're only actually up 30 percent from three different trades so just bear that in mind you have to win two for every one that you lose and again we want to manage our risk we want to actually say no do you know what out of these 10 trades i'm losing this amount so that means i only have to gain this much on the other nine. So that's what I'm looking at doing. There's this other feature at the top called co-vesting. So this is actually in beta. So you can actually follow other traders. So obviously I'm new, so I wouldn't recommend following anything I do, but you can go to these guys who promote themselves as being obviously experienced traders. They're watching the charts all day long, every day. So they know exactly what's going on with Bitcoin. They're probably hardwired into all the latest news and trends that are going on with Bitcoin and you can follow them and what you can do is you can actually put a certain amount of money towards this uh, trader and when they make their trades you're benefiting from whatever trades they make or losses so you can see here that this scalper one is up all in total 1029 <laughs> percent but his daily profit is 11.9%, but some of them here are obviously minus. But this is in beta. When you click on the uh, group, uh, it asks you to sign up for the beta. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing that, and I'll probably do a video on that, because I haven't got the time to sit there and watch the charts all day, every day. So if I can pay someone who's very good at it to do it for me, then by all means. Obviously, I want to learn how to trade myself so I understand, like I say, the mechanics and the workings out of how it works, how to manage your risk, how to create stop losses, how to take profit. I want to learn all of that myself so I understand what it is these other people are doing. I don't just want to say, oh, here's my Bitcoin. I hope that I get more back. That's just stupid. Uh, so I'm hoping to learn as I go along. If that's that tickled your fancy, go for it. 
uh, and a hand sign and then you also have this help section so on here is quite cool actually you've got some uh, live chat so you can chat to them leave feedback help center or you've even got tutorials so there's a few videos up here which actually show you how to use their platform and what features they have i'm just going to fast forward it equity your total capital including unrealized so they have some very sort of short tutorial videos there if you want to learn how to use their platform which i've actually watched all of them i feel like they could go into a lot more depth um, it's very quick like click here to do this so that's hence why i'm doing these videos because i thought i'm gonna i'm gonna provide that service now lastly we have trade and that's what we're here for so i've been chatting for about 40 minutes <laughs> we've finally gotten into what it is that you came here for so this is the trade platform i've tried to make this as simplistic as i can i got rid of all the modular sort of boxes that are about so you, all we can see here is the chart so this here is our trading and you can see here nice big clear buttons sell or buy and in the middle here you have your leverage amount so if you just do one for one, that means you're just trading the amount of Bitcoin that you're putting into it. But you can go all the way, if I delete this, up to 100 times. So if I put in one Bitcoin now, I would be trading as if I had 100 Bitcoins on the line, which is awesome if you can get it right. <laughs> That's really like a... You can make some big money if if you call it right. But then nine times out of 10, I think they quote saying like 85% of people will call it wrong because it only needs to go down a very small amount. Like even if it went down like $5, that's five times 100 instantly. And you think if it goes that you the price of Bitcoin moves up and down so much that as soon as you go down a little bit, you liquidate it. That's it. You lost your money. So just bear that in mind. You can change the uh, candlesticks to longer time periods. So we've got 15 minutes, we have got four hours, one day, all the usual stuff that you would expect. You can change this to a bar, a candle, uh, lines. I quite like the lines, but everyone keeps having a pop at me saying so I should use candles. Uh, you've got the longs or shorts, and you can draw all the lines that you want, which is awesome. So we have the trend line there. Obviously I'm gonna, talk about these as I learn them. I want to fully understand them before I talk to you guys about it. We also have this little labs button so you can really create different indicators and different trends and pick what colors you want them and how frequent and fast you want them to move and update, stuff like that. It's probably a bit too advanced for me at this stage. And then we have our settings so you can really customize this how you like it, what colors you like, what lines you prefer to be on there. But again, this is all sort of more advanced stuff. What I do like about this platform is you have this widgets system. So if I want to, at the moment, all we've got on is the charts. If I click on this watch list, you'll see that it's created two box below, although it's quite dark there. If I click off this, you can see now I have two boxes. One is the chart of Bitcoin USD, which I can change whenever I want by clicking up here. But on the right hand side on our watch list, these are all the different markets that are available to you using Prime XBT, which is another one of their key features. They don't just offer a couple of different cryptos, like some of the leverage trading platforms out there do Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. And I think some of them have started to implement like Bitcoin Cash and stuff. Whereas this one actually has Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, Litecoin, XRP. Then you have the different cryptocurrencies against themselves. But then you also have US dollar, Japanese yen, uh, Great British Pound, uh, New Zealand dollars, US dollars. You have the Dow Jones, the, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, the UK FTSE 100. So loads of different markets here that you can actually have a look at. And if you see an opportunity, you can do leverage trading on all of these. It's not, it's not just the Bitcoin price. And if you feel that there are two that are correlated with each other somehow, you can actually create different charts. You could have four different charts going on here at the same time, and you can correlate different ones to each other by unlinking them or linking them using this blue button up the top here, which I think is really cool. So let's just say that I quite like having this here because I want to use it quite regularly. If I think, oh, do you know what? This is taking up too much space. Like I, I quite like seeing the chart in a longer view. You can either change the size of them 
or you can actually change the position. So if I drag and hold this, you guys can see there, it's given me different options where I want to place it. So if I want to put it at the bottom here, there you go. Now I can see the chart in a nice long view and I have all the different markets at the bottom and I can either shrink this or expand it however I see fit. Now this means that you can really customize this how you want. And I'm gonna take my time and learn one at a time. I don't want just low, all of a sudden loads of stuff. And this is what I quite like about Prime XBT, and this is why I've chose them. When I've gone over to other platforms, you don't have that option. It's just what the, the, start, the data that is there, that is there, that is their website. And I look at it and I think, oh my God, there's so much going on here. What's that mean? And what does that mean? And why is that flashing red? And why is that changing all of a sudden? I don't like that, whereas this is quite nice, easy, clean, very clear, I like that. And it all just seems to work. So big pluses for uh, Prime XBT for that. Let's say I click on position, so now I've actually got three different tabs. You can see there it's put itself in the bottom right hand corner, but I might wanna drag this and make it bigger. I may wanna split up. So now all of a sudden we have four different uh, screens going on here at the same time and I can say right I want this one to be paired up with this one but not paired up with this so this Bitcoin USD price will just stay the same whereas if I click on one of these markets let's say I go to Australian dollars versus New Zealand dollars if I double click that you see there it changed that chart but it didn't change the Bitcoin price. So I can keep this Bitcoin price down here. I know my fat head's in the way, but these two are linked. So this just makes it very clear on what it is you're doing and because you're the one who has to actually set it. If I don't like this, if I make a mistake, I can just click this little X in the corner and get rid of them all. So that is my overview or review of Prime XBT. As it stands at the moment, I can only go by the data that is available. They're a fairly new exchange, but they have had pretty much no downtime. They have added in extra security features so that a hacker can't get hold of your account. There's no KYC, so no hacker can also get your personal information. They have a fair and easy to follow affiliate program. They offer promo codes. They offer the trade betting or you can just use the co-vesting, which means you're following another trader. Their trading fees range between 0.005 all the way up to sort of 0.008, depending on whether you're doing a leverage trade and whether it goes into overnight funds. So you've got to remember that you're borrowing funds at this time when you're sort of up on your trade. And if you leave that going for days and days on end, let's just say Bitcoin's on a bull run and you're just saying that it's continuously going up, you could leave a trade running if you set no profit take or stop losses. It can just run for ages, but there are higher fees for that. So you have to bear that in mind. And it all depends on how much you're betting, how much you're trading and for how long you're trading it for. If you go over to the account section, you can actually get discounts on your trade fees. You can see here that because I've been using their turbo feature, I've actually had a turnover of eight Bitcoin and my discount is at 0%. <laughs> you can see this little line is actually filled up very smallly and that's because I haven't done any trading on this platform. All this trading history you see down below was me just having a practice with I literally put some Bitcoin on the platform. I did some quick trades. I think I either broke even or I might have. I think I just broke even. I literally put in buy and then I canceled it and then I did a sell, canceled it. And then I withdrew the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin went straight back to my Bitcoin address. So I was very pleased with how quick and smooth that transaction was. But like I say, if you really do loads and loads of transactions and you work your way up you can actually get this little gold bar level <laughs> where you get 25 percent off your overall discounts uh, trades and you can even get up to 50 percent if you get this diamond one now you do have to trade up to the value of 300 bitcoin worth which sounds like a huge amount which it is but remember this is a hundred times leverage pl trading platform you could put one bitcoin on here 100% leverage it 
and then trade and then cancel that trade and you've done a hundred Bitcoin worth of trading. So you can see that that would build up very quickly if you do use leveraging. Something that I do need to point out as well is that the actual requirements to get involved on this platform are very low. You only need to deposit 0 0.0001 of a Bitcoin, I believe, which is about $10. So with $10 worth or eight British pounds worth, you can come on this platform, put it in your trade account, make some trades, see what you think of it. And if you think, yeah, I really like this, then by all means, maybe put some more Bitcoin in there, not financial advice, and make obviously profitable trades and try and manage your risk. If you go on here and you say, do you know what? I don't like this. Then worst case scenario, the amount that you're risking is a very small amount, depending on where you live in the world, $10 worth. So that's really cool. I have, a, I have actually signed up to average leverage trading platforms where you have to put in a minimum of 500 or $1,000 worth. And that's really put me off. I've been like, oh, I don't know. I've heard this exchange is a bit scammy. And do I really want to be giving a a scam website a thousand dollars of my money whereas this one it's ten dollars you can put in ten dollars as the minimum deposit and for the minimum for trading so that is another thumbs up from me okay so that's my total view of prime xbt i'm really excited to get these videos going under the playlist blt and so far so good from the prime xbt I, there's nothing i can complain about i've been using it now for a couple of weeks and i can't seem to find any faults wrong with it but obviously if i do you'll be the first to know please comment down below what your thoughts are of prime xbt i'd love to hear from you guys if you think that there's a better platform out there or if Prime XBT does something that you like or you don't like, please comment down below. You can also message me on Team BitGlen on, on the Telegram group chat, or you can find me on Twitter at BitGlen. Don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button, and also tick that little bell notification so that you know when I next go live and I upload one of these videos for the BitGlen Learning Trading web series and also don't forget if you do want to sign up to prime xbt i have negotiated that 35 percent initial deposit bonus for you all you have to do is sign up to the platform using the link in the description down below and then type go to promo codes which is under your account and type in the phrase bitglen i hope that helps and i hope you've enjoyed that i'll see you on the next video from myself Catch you later, guys. Bye.